Cause, awesome. Because I yelled at them. <laughs> Let them know, John. Anyway, uh, Solcer versus Peko. Oh, they're uh, not in the right place. Whatever. I'll, I'll make it work. Don't worry about it. Uh, Three, two, one. Go. go. Solcer, we saw on stream earlier uh, playing against Devin. So we are going to be seeing that Pokemon Trainer. Peko, of course, does have the Pokemon Trainer secondary. So it is definitely going to have... Ooh, definitely going to have some matchup knowledge in this particular player matchup. But right now, it looks like Solcer is the one with all of the knowledge, putting 83% uh, on Peko with a really impressive edge guarding sequence. Peko has been known to dabble in Pokemon Trainer as well, though, so they are not completely lost on this matchup. I, I, I said that. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, Peko off stage again, able to get back on stage using the banana and Solcer choosing to go back into center stage to try and reset the situation. Now with Ivysaur, but unfortunately not able to close out that edge guarding sequence with Ivysaur. So I had to play a little bit of neutral, whereas, you know, typically you want neutral with Squirtle, but just the down throw, just smashing that Diddy Kong's head into the ground. He's dead. Now, Solcer looking to work on some extra credit. Um, but Peko trying to take things a little bit more slowly. Uh, just chilling at the ledge, pouring banana while Solcer holding, holding center. All right, Solcer using that water gun as well as the waterfall, too. I really like that particular combination to both set Peko in a less comfortable situation, which gives Solcer all the space in the world to go for an aggressive recovery. You can do it, Ivysaur gets killed immediately. He can't do it. All right, so Peko now bringing, bringing us to even stock, but 82% on Peko, meaning Solcer potentially looking at getting another stock pretty soon. Great spacing by Solcer. Just right outside of that dash attack to get the forward tilt. Look at these fast, tiny animals running around like lunatics. It's just a, a zoo fight. Yeah. Yeah, the chimpanzee got out of the cage and was fighting the cabbage dog. Yeah. Oh my god, he almost got that. And then he did knife, get it. But he did get the F tilt. Those barrels are still there. They're still there, but don't worry, they almost never hit. Yeah. They usually don't hit. Until they do. Peko trying, recoveries. Yeah, Peko trying to go for the same uh, the same scenario that he got the first stock catching the recovery. But Solcer able to get back into center stage and continue working on this last stock. Ooh. Oh, Peko showing him the hand. Once again, trying to catch the Pokemon switch, but not quite working out. Solcer able to make it back into center stage, but a down tilt a back A beautiful air. slingshot, I assume, back air. Ooh. Slingshotting has made doing raw bears so much easier, and, you know, Diddy Kong is one of the happy recipients of it. Absolutely. All right, so Peko bringing things to pretty much even right now. Almost looking at taking a lead right now, but once again, spacing right outside that monkey flip using that... Wonderful Squirtle F tilt. No down air. That did. That monkey is back on the stage. Oh, he's kicking. Oh, he's showing him his feet. Instant upbeat. Save again, but the banana from ledge. No chance for a down air. End of the game is definitely the right time to do that mix up. Timing mix up. Oh, throw the banana. Oh, oh, Ooh. oh my God! We're looking at. Oh my goodness, Peko yeah. takes game one. It uh, was looking like Brawl right there. People falling out of multi-hits. That is not Peko. Hi, Peko. Not falling Stone out of the faced, second one, though. Stone-faced man over here. Boom. I love seeing Ivysaur down throw kill. Oh Just my god. you. Solcer trying to crawl his way back in. Perhaps he got out with SDI. It's certainly possible. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to the matches. Yep, and back to Go! PS2 as well. So Peko with a handsome game on the board. 
Yeah, and really coming into this game too with a lot of momentum, since you know, game one really looked like Solcer's game to win, and Pekka really brought things back. So already seeing a bit of a better performance in stock one out of Pekka. You know, not getting taken zero to eighty-three. Getting out that water gun in, in hand. And yeah, Pekka once again playing things kind of patient and choosing his openings. And even with the speed of Squirtle, just Pekko able to get to the complete other side of the stage and really punishing Solcer for wanting to hold center so much. Like, all right, you know, you can you can hold center all you want. I'll go and get my neutral winning tool. Almost getting the up air, which maybe would have taken it, but Solcer's up air absolutely going to be taking it. Neutral winning, perhaps, but is it disadvantage getting out of tool? I know how to word. I know how to make sentences like a normal person. Ooh, I like the idea there from Pekko to throw the banana against the side of the stage to try and catch the tether recovery. Didn't quite work out, though. The razor Leaf. Those close-range Razor Leafs are killers. They start combos. Mm -hmm. Down throw. Forward air. Up beat. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a... That wasn't just a beer reverse. That was a uh, wave bounce. Yeah. How often do we see those? Weight bounces are very powerful. You advance and then you just retreat, shooting a projectile at him. Yep. It's beautiful. Wish it was easier to do with neutral specials, but oh well. And there goes Diddy. Very, yeah. very tactical miss, miss launch. <laughs> yeah, Solcer also not quite able to uh, capitalize on it. Just sit down there and able to read. Actually, that caught most options. I think that might have caught Tech out as well, but definitely roll in and Tech in place. So, excellent stuff from Solcer. Now having Pekko at his last stock of this game two. Gonna see if Solcer can take us into a game three. But now getting pressured at ledge again by Pekko. No, like that? Like that. Just got lightly tapped by a leaf. And Diddy Kong plummets to his death. Indeed. Stop battle. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Pokemon trainer. Our first game through of the night. All right, and let's see, we are going right back into PS2 as well. Everyone's favorite stage Everyone's for some reason. It's the perfect stage. I have to go. Goodbye. <laughs> so he actually, actually is leaving. I'm sorry, I've killed John Numbers live on stream. All right, so anyway, coming into this game three, uh, sticking with the Squirtle versus Diddy Kong. Pekko, once again, with the same game plan of running to the other side of the stage to try and set up his banana while Solcer, you know, really gets comfortable in center stage. Let's see. Solcer trying to make his way in, trying to pressure Diddy's shield using that jab sequence. Yeah, very patient neutral right now, but a great snipe from Pekko, giving him an opening to pressure Solcer. Now at ledge again, once again, Solcer has been caught by that so much. The uh, jump into banana throw, really doing wonders for Pekko in this matchup. All right, let's see. Solcer getting put off stage again. I like the quick tether cancel right there. But a banana into charge up smash. Now putting Pekko in stock lead in this game three. Well, I don't know about that uppy, but... Pekko not able to find too much of a punish out of it. Solcer using the side platform of PS2 to keep himself a little bit safer and a little bit more ambiguous. And even with the speed of Squirtle, just not quite able to follow up on that tech situation, unfortunately. Ooh, Pekko had the idea again, just barely not able to hit it. I'm actually genuinely surprised it didn't hit the uh, throwing the banana against the wall of PS2. But now this is looking like Pekko's game to win. Almost lapping Solcer in percent. All right, 
resetting the neutral. And a big charge on that up smash means Pekko is now in a two stock lead. Sulcer really gonna have to, really gonna have to think about this uh, coming into this last stock using the Charizard, which I, I don't quite know about. Is able to get the back air, but across the stage, it's not gonna be enough. And also not able to pop Diddy out of the barrels, but is able to get the up B out of shield without taking too much damage. I was really worried about the Charizard pick coming into stock three because, you know, Echo could really get one of those huge combos on a big body like Zard, but, you know, able to make it through without really any punishment, meaning Sulfur has some, has some momentum coming into Pekko's second stock. Ooh, all right, the down air, get off of me. Catches Sulcer jumping from ledge again, almost getting the neutral air into down air. Whew. Charizard really doing work suddenly. Waiting for a ledge trap scenario, but pulls the trigger on the up -E too soon. Whew. Caught him out of the air, scratching his eyes out. All right. Nice roll in from ledge, but once again, these uppies just not doing Solcer any favors. Great banana conversion by Pekko, putting Solcer at the ledge right now. Definitely in an uncomfortable position. Trying to get banana into down air. And the damage just keeps coming for Solcer. But of course, that is Charizard with a lot of rage. Solcer bringing things to uh, last stock, game three. Gonna see if he can do something about it. The uh, Pokemon switch out of the down tilt up smash, meaning Solcer gonna be living a little bit longer. But yeah, trying to go for these pivot grabs, really trying to put himself in a more comfortable situation, but slipped on the banana peel, and that is gonna be all it takes for Pekko to get in with the forward air and take game three. Living to 205, too. Solcer really had some great momentum coming into that last stock, but it was unfortunately just a little bit too little too late. Yeah, I mean, like, really right. close game. Oh, not yet. Hi, guys. <laughs> 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 Hi, guys. Uh, really close game for both players. Uh, I saw that actually Solcer almost brought it back. Um, just I came in just to watch, like, the last stock of the game. And Man Man's was at a two stock deficit and yeah. almost brought it back completely. I'm proud of you. That's the power of Charizard. We are going back. They are going both your losers. And I'm here. Oh my god. Yo, Hi. What's up? Hello. Hello. Um, Overwatch two. Overwatch <laughs> Tell two. Tell me about has it. Has taken my soul. Oh no. <laughs> I day one. I was like, I hate this game. And then <laughs> two hours after I got up, I was like, Babe, you want to keep playing? <laughs> Dude, that's. I'm obsessed. That is I hate it. the Overwatch.